In this tutorial, we will create a simulation model of a quadruped robot in Isaac Sim. We will also create a subscriber and a publisher to ROS2 topics and operate this robot using an algorithm defined in ROS2 node. For control method, we will use the algorithm described in this tutorial. The modeling process described in this tutorial can be implemented to any other type of robot. As a prerequisite, ROS2 Humble should be installed. We will begin with installing the Zacro package. Zacro is an XML macro language. With Zacro, it is possible to construct shorter XML files by using macros that expand to larger XML expressions. We will use this package to convert a Zacro file to an URDF file. Download the Quadruped Robot ROS2 package and extract it to your home directory. Then execute the Colkin build command. Now we are going to convert our Zacro file to an URDF file. Open another terminal. Run the setup bash script using the source command. Move to the robot directory which is inside the robot description directory. Execute the Zacro command to convert the robot Zacro file to robot URDF file. The URDF file will be generated in the same directory with the Zacro file. Now we are going to install Isaac Sim. Move to the NVIDIA Omniverse page. Click the Start Developing button. Click the Start Developing button again. Here, click on Linux. The file download will begin. Installation of the launcher is described in this page. We have to follow instructions described in the Deploying Launcher section. First, install the libfuse2 package. Fuse is an interface for user space programs to export a file system to the Linux kernel. As our second step, we should enable the app image file to run as a program. To do this, open the Properties section of the file we have downloaded. Select the Permissions tab. Check the Allow Executing File as Program checkbox. Now execute app image. In the Omniverse login page, enter your email address and password. Check for necessary confirmations. After the launcher runs, select the Exchange tab. Under the Apps section, select Isaac Sim. Click the Install button. After installation completes, click on the Launch button. The Isaac Sim App Selector window will appear. In the ROS Bridge Extension drop down box, Select on the Isaac ROS2 bridge. In the Use Internal ROS Libraries drop down box, select Humble. Now, click the Start button and launch Isaac Sim. As a first step of the simulation, we will import the URDF file. Click on the Isaac Utils tab. Move the cursor to Workflows and select URDF Importer. URDF importer window will open. Since our model is not stationary, remove the check from the fix base link option. In case of robotic arm, we may keep this option as it is. Click on the folder image in the input section. Click on the robot URDF file. And click on the select URDF button. Finally click on Import. As we can see, a quadruped robot model will appear. Now, we need a floor on which the quadruped robot will walk. 
Open Create tab. Select Ground Plane from the Physics menu. We can adjust the initial position of our robot by moving an arrow or by modifying these values in the Transform section. Simulation can be executed by clicking on the Play button. As we can see, the robot falls on the ground plane. As we click the Stop button, the robot returns to its initial position. Now we are going to add Position Controller to move joints of our robot. Click on the Isaac Utils tab. From the Common on the Graphs menu, select the Articulation Position Controller. Click on the Add button in the Articulation Position Controller Inputs window. Select the robot model we previously imported. Position Controller is created in the bottom of the Stage panel. Select the Position Controller. Select Open Graph. We can see the structure of the Position Controller. In the Make Array block we define input values of the array. On Playback Tick block carries out an output execution pulse during playback. In this Make Array block, we define names of each joint. All these blocks are connected to the Articulation Controller block. Articulation Controller actually controls the robot we imported previously. Now, let's move the joint. Change the input 0 value in the first Make Array block. And run the simulation. As we can see, the joint of the robot moved. Now we will modify this position controller to control our robot using ROS2. Open the robot controller YAM file. Our ROS2 quadruped robot controller will publish joint values in this order. So, we have to modify the order of the joints in the make array block so that it matches publishing order of the controller. Now we will continue modifying our Omni graph. Place the ROS2 context block. This block is always required when we create ROS2 related functions. Place the ROS2 subscriber block. We will use this block instead of the make array block with fixed values. We have to modify several parameters in this block. To check required information, open the robot controller gazebo python script. This is the name of the topic to which we will subscribe. This is the message name. And this is message package. After modification, connect each port of the block like I am showing right now. Now, execute the robot control launch pi script. Then, run the controller pi script. Go back to Isaac Sim and push the play button. If the robot falls like this, increase max force value of each shin joint. After modifying each joint, 
Restart the simulation. Now we can operate the robot by moving the red dot in the controller window. Now let's see how to add an IMU sensor to our robot and receive sensor values using ROS node. First, we select a link to which IMU sensor will be attached. In our case, it is the base link. Move to the Create tab, Isaac, Sensor. Select IMU sensor. The IMU sensor is created under the base link. Now we will modify Omni Graph. Place Isaac Read IMU node into Graph Editor. As IMU primitive, select the IMU sensor we created. Then, place Isaac Read Simulation Time block into Graph Editor. This block holds values related to simulation time stamps. Then, place a ROS2 Publish IMU block into Graph Editor. Connect ports of these blocks as I do. The topic will be named as described in the topic name property. So, we should specify this topic name in the subscriber like we did in this Python script. Now run the simulation. Execute the ROS2 topic list command. We can confirm that IMU topic is published. By executing ROS2 topic echo command, we can see that IMU values have been published successfully.